Okay, here's another little um, desktop toy project I've been working that um, it's kind of putting together a number of things that I've done on other projects, but what I've got here is a simple uh, reed switch pulse motor, brushless DC motor that has a reed switch and a coil and then a way to charge the supercapacitor with a battery pack. And it just um, does its thing here. And this particular reed switch makes a noise. Hear the tick, 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 tick. It was kind of interesting, so I thought I would share this thing uh, with you. I've been fiddling around with it because uh, the idea of having uh, the stuff inside an enclosure so you don't see the coil or the electronics or the reed switch it's kind of an interesting concept if you're fiddling around with a desktop toy kind of thing. And what this is, is it's a um, coil of wire, a, a small fared supercapacitor, and that reed switch down in there. As the magnet goes by, it tells the reed switch at um, close that sends power to the coil, and round and round we go. But another thing about this toy is the bearings are not real good and you can actually stop the thing with the friction in the bearing and it'll it'll um, maintain a position so you can leave it off like that and it's not going to do anything until you tap it and then off it goes again and then the charging of the thing is you just take this battery you put the battery up there to it now you're charging the supercapacitor back up and off she goes again anyway just a simple little um, like I said desktop toy and this is the the bottom of it that you would put on it of course and cover up the guts of it so you wouldn't see the guts of it unless you wanted to Meantime, you've got this little uh, fun little desktop toy that you could fiddle around with. This is something I've been dinking around with. The bearings are not very good. It's just a piece of uh, steel wire that I ground down to kind of a point running in Phillips screws that are adjustable. The frame is 3D printed. The rotor is 3D printed. And then the base is made out of wood. Now I could 3D print the base too, so that the base would be um, all 3D printed. I'm sure Granddad would do this whole thing on a 3D print in about 10 minutes. Just a fun little project I've been fiddling with. Thanks for watching.